Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the next chapter in the fundamentals series for security and compliance. And today we have, uh, which is describe Azure identity protection. Yeah. Describe Azure identity protection. That's what we need to cover today. Well, the very first thing we need to understand for this particular uh, feature, we should have Azure AD P2 license in place because this is an advanced feature which gives you a lot detailed information and automation to protect your environment. So how exactly does it do that and what it is, we need to understand that first. So let me tell you how exactly Microsoft uh, works with identity protection from where uh, it gets enormous data so that it could learn and apply those things on the, 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 on the customers who are utilizing this uh, feature, right? So it is like Microsoft has uh, millions of customers. We all know that, right? And the consumer space with Microsoft account and in gaming with Xbox, it collects or it rather uh, learn, or maybe it is like uh, trillions of signals per day that Microsoft analyzes to identify potential threats, okay? So these signals uh, come from learnings uh, Microsoft has through these uh, organizations with Azure AD, right? So the signals generated by these services are fed to identity protection. The point is to get the benefit of any machine learning kind of automation, or if you wanna get output, you're gonna have the data only then your, your output would be relevant, right? So that's the beauty. Microsoft has trillions of signals per day. So it's a huge amount of data every day, new data is coming up, right? And this will help identity protection to act better and better. And even during the live uh, situations, protection uh, can figure it out. Like this is something that we got to block, okay? So the signals generated by these services are fed to identity protection. So they can then be used by tools such as conditional access, we talked about it. For example, you can put the condition if there is some customer seems like uh, fishy, then you can place a condition, let's authenticate it again, or multi-factor, right? It's a heavy rain here. If you guys are hearing some uh, sound at the, back, at the background, it's because of heavy rain. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, complete this uh, Azure AD identity protection, which will, uh, which is not so big. We only need to understand what it is and how it works. So the main point is this identity protection. So we know what it is. Uh, it will help us to protect the identity. Very simple. And how it helps us because it has enormous data coming in every day by which uh, through machine learning, it will, it will analyze what is uh, at risk and act as per the condition that we apply, okay? And it, pro, it, it categorizes the risks into tiers like low, low risk or medium risk and high risk. And we can apply the conditions. For example, let's suppose it's a low risk then we are like, it's fine, let him come. Or maybe it's a medium risk, then we are like, let's challenge the multi-factor authentication. And if it's a high risk, we can even say like block the access or ask the customer to reset the password, right? Those kind of things. So identity protection categorize the risk into low, medium, and high. And 
accordingly it will act the conditions that we have uh, planned inside this uh, identity protection okay so Azure AD identity protection can calculate the sign-in risk and user identity risk. Let's try to understand how it does that. For example, sign-in risk is the probability that the sign-in wasn't performed by the user. For example, you're signing in from India within a minute or within a second, you're signing in from the US. Identity protection will Definitely. For example, you have seen that, right? If you try to log into the Gmail from some different location, it gives some numbers on, it prompts some numbers on your mobile phone and you need to say, yes, I'm the same person who's trying to access. So that kind of situation, it will read it. It will find it out like, yeah, atypical traveling is happening, right? So it will think this is a sign in risk. This is not done by the right user. That's what it will think and it will prompt and as per the condition defined, for example, let's suppose this is a medium risk. You could ask for the multi-factor authentication, right? Similarly, we have anonymous IP addresses like signing in from anonymous uh, IP addresses, which are like you're using a Tor, Tor browser, TOR browser or anonymized VPN. So this protection, ID protection can easily figure it out like this is not coming from the right place. And user risk, these were the sign-in risk. Now the user risk is a probability that the user identity has been compromised. There are signals, there are signs by which uh, identity protection will say the user risk uh, or user identity has been compromised. For example, unfamiliar sign-in properties when 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 signing happens and if id protection says like the properties doesn't seem like the usual uh it might might flag it like a user risk or if it is uh linked to, with uh, uh malware uh linked ip addresses sign in from uh using or not the sign in but using the credentials that that are falling under the leak credentials list or maybe the password spray uh, issue or the, the the attack azure ad uh, threat intelligence like uh, microsoft internal and external threat intelligence sources have identified known pattern which comes along with this right so these risk signals can trigger actions such as requiring user to provide MFA, as I was saying, the kind of action or condition we, we provide inside the configuration of Azure AD identity protection. All right, well, this is what it is. It's very simple. That's all we need to know. I'll share the link at the bottom uh, in the description by which you can see how exactly it works. Or if you want, I can also show you right now. This is the Microsoft documentation link for Azure AD and identity protection. And here uh, they have mentioned everything that I talked about, like Microsoft analyzes trillions of signals per day. And <clears throat> what i was trying to show you uh which is more of a configuration uh, if i could yeah it says like you know high risk medium risk the risk that we talked about and let's quickly check uh, the policies right these are the policies that you defined and accordingly it will challenge the mic uh, mfa or maybe block the access or maybe ask to reset the password these are the conditions that's how it can be done in the azure ad identity protection okay so uh, if you need to summarize this uh, this chapter there is only a uh, few things that you need to keep in mind azure ad identity protection is the p2 uh, license required if you want to opt for the services this will help you to uh, give you signals whether it's a user risk or sign-in risk and accordingly you can define the conditions like challenge the multi-factor or block the access or allow or reset the password and it can work with the conditional access beautifully there is a, there is a, a great integration and it works it gives you the signals like low medium and high risk and accordingly everything happens
this is all about the identity uh, protection, Azure AD identity protection. And that's all we need to know as per our fundamental exam. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.